Hey everybody, today I'm going to review the Knipex Cobras, which are one of the most popular set of pliers ever made. And what makes these unique is the fact that they're self-locking, and when you clamp down on a pipe or a fastener, they're not going to go anywhere. When they're in place, you can literally let go of the handle and just press down on the top. It's going to rotate that fastener, and there's no need to squeeze them along with rotating. So it gives you a lot more control, and they do not let go of the pipe or the bolt or nut you're working on. It's going to lock in, and it's going to rotate it, and really it's not going to slip. Now many of us have used other things such as vice grips, standard tongue and groove pliers, or even the Irwin vice grip groove lock pliers. Now these do look similar to the Cobras, but they do not work nearly as well. You know, I've had these for about a year, and really I bought them because I had a broken off exhaust manifold stud, and I thought after watching a YouTube video about some Knipex pliers that they look pretty much the same and I should be able to get the job done. Now, what actually happened was the first time I tried to use it, it actually rounded off some of the teeth, and honestly, I never even have picked these up since. But now having the Knipex pliers, I was actually able to do a job and I was able to get a good video clip to show you exactly how this will lock into a fastener. It's not going to let go and it's also going to remove it with ease. Now I'm going to take the Cobras and show you how well they will self-lock onto something. You're not going to need to squeeze onto them and once they're locked in, you can just press down on the top and they're not going to rotate. Now what we'll also do is I'll show you how easy it is to release these when you're done. So this is actually a Knipex test stand, and I'm going to lock these in place. So we'll just place them on there, and then we're going to squeeze them. At this point, they're locked in place, and I can take my weight, press down on them, and they're not going to go anywhere. But what I'm going to do on top of this is actually stand on top of here. I weigh about 175 pounds, so I'm going to stand on the top of here just to see if it's going to let go or if it's going to rotate. And you can see I'm standing on the top. I'm only balancing myself with one finger on the toolbox and the entire 175 pounds is on the pliers and it's not falling off. Now when we're done we can just simply lift up with one finger and it releases and we can move on to the next job. Okay I'm going to change this outer tie rod end and as you can see the nut that's holding it on is completely flaked away. There's no way for a socket to go in here. Normally we'd have to take an angle grinder and cut that off and then punch it out or even take like a sawzall to do this. But what I'm going to do is actually take first a scraper. I'm going to scrape away the loose flaking material and then we're going to see if the Nipex Cobras can grab onto that and loosen it up so I can remove the tie rod end. and it actually broke that free. I cannot believe it. There's almost nothing here left. I did not put any penetrating oil on that. I have not tried this previously because you saw me actually scrape off all the old flaking material and the Cobras were able to lock in and they are twisting this nut off. So I'll be able to remove the tie rod end without using an angle die grinder or a cutoff wheel or even a uh, Sawzall. This is absolutely amazing. And there it is. If I had not just done this, I never would have thought that the Knipex Cobras would be able to remove something like this. But you can see it's completely rounded off. There's almost no material left. And then just for comparison purposes, I'm going to open up the new tie rod end box to show you how big that nut should actually be. 
So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the brand new tie rod end nut compared to this old one that there was almost nothing left of. And you can see with that tremendous size difference, almost all the material had flaked off and rusted off over the years. And this little sleeve of metal with some threads on the inside were all that was holding this tie rod on. So had this given up and broken, this could have popped out and the front wheel could have just cut to the side causing the customer to either wreck or roll their vehicle. And because the Knipex Cobras were able to dig into that and remove it so quickly and easily, it really saves me a lot of time replacing this part. So now you've seen the Knipex Cobras for yourself. And like I showed you in the clips, they do self-lock. So when we put them on a fastener, or let's say a pipe, and you squeeze, they're locked in, and then all you need to do is press down on the top of the handle in order to make the fastener rotate. There's no need to squeeze and rotate because once it locks in, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then when you're done rotating it, it's a simple release. You just lift up on the top of the handle and it's gonna instantly let go. And like I showed you on that tracker we were working on, it was able to grip in on that tie rod end nut that was basically nothing left. And it was able to remove that and it did it very quickly and very easily. Now these are made in Germany and they carry a full lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects through Knipex. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.